The age-old debate, which game engine is the best? For many millennia, men have fought and died over loyalties to the empires of Unity, Unreal, and the hippie ones. So what is the answer to this question? Is a game engine just a tool that you use to create a game, and generally most of the widespread ones will suffice just fine if you put in the time to learn it? Or is finding the perfect engine really the most important part of game development? Well, I have no idea what the answer for either of those questions is, but I do know which game engine is not the best. There are many great tools out there for beginners learning the fundamentals of programming. Scratch offers block-based coding and even some engines like GameMaker Studio allow you to build some logic without having to code at all. One of these tools is called Turtle, and it is a simple Python framework that allows you to draw things. It's perfectly fine at what it's designed to do, so naturally I'm going to try to make something with it that it was definitely not designed to do. But why am I even doing this? Well, that was a very comedic joke about my username, me. But to answer my question, it's because I'm taking a pre-computer science program in school and we were given some time at the end of the first unit to make a game using Turtle. Well, it didn't specifically have to be a game, but naturally that's what I'll do, because I am physically unable to ever stop thinking about game development. But anyways, my first task was just to figure out what I want to do and if I can even do it. So just like any beginner developer trying to come up with a small, easy to make game to start off with, I decided to make the next big MMO. I actually can't stand MMOs, but that's what I'm making because they are big. It'll have open world, you'll be able to build your own bases down to the atom, there'll be a fully simulated economy, politics, you get the gist. So I began development by, oh yeah, Turtle doesn't really support anything that I just said. Well I guess I'll just tone it down a bit, maybe just a platformer. Well Turtle isn't exactly well optimized, and I'm making this on a school computer which is actually just a virtual device, so that won't work either. Hmm. I guess we're going retro. So I decided to make a mostly text-based RPG. The plan is for the only interface to be the console, just to keep it simple. The turtle will just be used for things like UI as well as some very basic graphics. RPGs are pretty cool and if you can't tell, I kinda like them. But I have never made one, and although that might change someday, for now I'm just gonna try to make something really simple. So I'm thinking I'll have a few rooms, a battle room, a store, a hub, and a boss fight. The game will just work by grinding in the battle room, healing, and upgrading yourself in the store, and eventually challenging the boss for the final battle. This video is sponsored by Unity. From November 15th to December 4th, the Unity Asset Store is having a Black Friday sale. And during the sale, there are going to be over 500 assets of 50% off and many more with lightning deals up to 90% off. This sale is the last opportunity to get many of these assets at this high of a discount this year. So be sure to use the links in the description to go on the Unity Asset Store and get a big discount during this sale and help support the channel while you're doing it. So I started by making the hub where it all happens. This was done by just using some functions the turtle provides to draw stuff. So I drew some doors. The visuals for the game will be very basic, I mean it is text based after all. And after making those doors, I decided it was time to build some logic for moving between the different rooms. And this is where I found my first big issue. And this was definitely the biggest one I found in the entire making of the game. But it was less an issue with turtle itself, and more issue with procedurally executed code in Python. And if you don't really know what that means, basically in most actual game engines created by sane people, you have an object oriented approach, which is where you code specific objects to do stuff, like a player object and an enemy and such, but in procedural oriented programming, you basically just have one really long thing of code that executes. While you can split that up into functions and stuff, it's still all executing one after another. And this is another reason why I chose to make a text-based game, is it's simply a lot easier to do this without objects than something else. But the issue I ran into that was, in Python, whenever you exit a while loop that's inside a function, or excuse me, a definition, then the code starts over from the very beginning. And this was very frustrating because at the beginning of my code was where all the variable initialization happened. So variables were getting reset, and this pretty much just meant that I could not use function in the while loops of the game. And this meant that the final program was over 900 lines of code long. And a large amount of these lines were repeated simply because I could not use definitions. Looking back there is probably a workaround I could have used here to have definitions, but I didn't think of it at the time, so here we are. But after figuring out all that stuff, I moved on to making a basic RPG battle system. In the battle system, you can attack, use an item, check enemies, and attempt to flee. And after you do one of those, the enemy attacks, and this repeats. Pretty basic stuff. Although one thing that I am pretty proud of with this project was how easy it was to make new enemies. I was able to make very memorable and unique enemies, like a pile of dirt, a dirty puddle, and my favorite, the root of all evil things in the universe, dirty music. At this point, you might have noticed a theme with the gameplay and these enemies. Yes, for some reason, I decided to make this game themed around Mr. Clean, and in it you fight dirt, a dungeon cleaner if you will. And since this game is 99% writing, basically every single line is just some sort of dumb joke or goofy way of saying something. My personal favorites in the game are the check line for the store, the depth description for dirt, 
and how gaining money is called copying stacks. But now that the basic attacking was all built out, I decided to turn my attention to using items, storing items, and buying them. So I built a store, starring Mr. Clean, and allowed you to purchase items by building a basic shop system with the money, and I just added those bought items to a list. Whenever you go to use item, the game prints the list, and then you can type any item in there to use it. The items are pretty simple, the washcloth and towel heal HP, the disinfectant damages enemies, and the glock shoots. The glock costs $999, and instantly deals enough damage in one shot to kill anything in the game. At this point, I was pretty much just tacking on whatever systems I could come up with, so I decided to make a reforging system like Terraria. And I decided on the system because I thought the game just needed to be a bit more luck based and torturous to play. There are plenty of modifiers, although they all just modify damage, so clean is objectively the best. But there are other standouts, like Morbidly Obese, which is terrible, and Morbidly a Beast, which is awesome. Yeah, looking back, I'm kind of surprised that I really submitted this for a school project. Now I just had to finish the game, and that meant making a boss fight, but I was running out of time, and I ended up getting really messy with my code at this point. So yeah, this is where the copying pasting really came into play. The boss fight of the code is almost identical to the battle part from earlier, and should logically just be a part of the battle system. But it's not. Ultimately, it worked out, and the boss, whose name shall not be uttered, is ready to rip the soul out of your body whenever you reach him. And yeah, I packaged it all up and submitted it. And I ended up getting 100 on the project, so I guess it wasn't too bad. Thanks for watching! Be sure to check out my main game, Couch Combat, and wishlist it on Steam because it's just that cool. Plus, I'm going to release it for free soon. So what do you really have to lose, other than your credibility? Bye.